Hi friends! For second step today, we are going to review how to ask for what we need and want. If you remember yesterday, Mary was painting and needed help to find the green paint. Steve helped her, but they didn't find any. Do you remember who Mary asked for help? The teacher, that's right. Mary was scared, but Steve said to use a strong, respectful voice and face the teacher, and it worked. I understood what Mary needed, and I helped her to find the green paint. She did a great job asking for what she needs and wants in a strong, respectful voice, and that's what we're learning this week. I have a picture to show you. This is Gloria. The teacher said, it's time to get ready to go outside. Gloria got her coat. She put her arms in the sleeves. Yesterday, she was able to zip up her coat all by herself. Today, she is trying to zip up the zipper. She tries and tries but just can't get it to work. Gloria is stuck. She needs help with her coat zipper. Think about who Gloria can ask for help. Who do you think Gloria can ask for help? Hmm. If you said a teacher or a friend, great answer. What kind of voice should Gloria use when asking for help? Should she use a whiny voice? Oh, help, help me. Or should she use a strong, respectful voice? Can you please help me? If you said a strong, respectful voice, great answer. Gloria should face the teacher when she asks for help and use a strong, respectful voice. Remember, when you need to ask for someone, ask someone for help, look at the person and speak in a respectful voice. Now I want you to turn to someone next to you and practice. Use a respectful voice and say, Will you please help me? Great job practicing at home. I want you to remember that throughout the day, anytime you need help. Always use a strong, respectful voice. Great job today with Second Step Friends. And we're going to keep talking about how to ask for what we need and want all week. See you next time.